picture has popped up online showing the latest variant of the Army's M1 Abrams tank with what appears to be a new armor package on its turret. The US Army is already in the process of adding the Trophy Active Protection System to the vehicles, which will help guard against anti-tank guided missiles and infantry anti-tank rockets. But the service is also interested adding additional passive armor in light of the threat of potential adversaries, such as Russia, with their own upgraded tanks and new armor-piercing shells. This version is the most modernized configuration of the Abrams tank, having improved force protection and system survivability enhancements and increased lethality over the M1A1 and previous M1A2 variants, U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Justin Shell, then the Abrams product manager, said at the rollout in 2017. The Abrams M1A2 SEP-3 tank will be the foundation for future incremental system upgrades and can host any mature technology the Army deems operationally relevant. There do not appear to be any specific announcements about improved passive armor for the M1A2 SEP-3 in the past beyond statements that the variant would include added ballistic protection. Earlier pictures of the prototype M1A2 SEP-3S show weights on the front of the turret, as well as similar weights on the hull front. These surrogates were supposed to simulate the added weight of the SEP-3's next-generation armor package, NGAP. There had been no indication, however, that the final turret shape would change significantly. The prototype for the preceding M1A2 SEP-2 variant was also tested with surrogate weights to simulate that version's new Heavy Armor Package 3, HAP-3, passive armor upgrade. The final design, however, did not feature any radical changes to the turret general shape. It could also be an additional uplick armor package that the Army is simply evaluating at this time and might not end up in the final M1A2 SEP-3 configuration. The added passive armor would just be the latest in a series of defensive additions to the M1A2 SEP-3 configuration. In March 2017, the Army announced that it would begin installing Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, packages, known as the Abrams Reactive Armor Tile ARAT, on tanks in Europe, which will also be a feature on the new variants. ERA works by placing tiles filed with explosives over specific portions of a tank. When an incoming projectile hits them, they explode outward, helping to prevent it from penetrating into the vehicle. But explosive reactive armor works best against tank shells, anti-tank guided missiles, or other anti-tank weapons that use high explosive anti-tank warheads. These warheads need to detonate at a very precise point from the side of their target to be most effective. The explosive tiles can destroy or prematurely detonate them, causing them to malfunction. The Trophy Active Protection System that will go on to the latest M1A2 SEP-3S is another hard kill system that works by firing a shotgun-like blast to knock down incoming threats. The Army first announced it would install the Israeli-made defensive system in its tanks in September 2017.
Unfortunately, these systems are far less effective against fast-flying kinetic penetrators, such as those in modern armor-piercing discarding Sabo tank shells, which rely on sheer force to break through armor. So, there is still a need for a passive armor layer to defend against these threats. That the army might now be interested in additional armor protection beyond what it had previously planned for the M1A2 SEP3 would make sense. There has been a general shift in focus within the US military toward being prepared for a potential high-end conflict against great power adversaries, such as Russia and China, in recent years. The problem with more passive armor is that it also adds significant additional weight to the Abrams, which could limit its mobility. The existing variants of the tank tip the scales at more than 70 tons, making them some of the heaviest main battle tanks in the world. Separate upgrades to help the M1 simply outrange opponents might help mitigate the need for further passive armor upgrades to defeat increasingly threatening kinetic ammunition. The Army is in the process of developing the next iteration of the Abrams, known variously as the M1A2 SEP4 or M1A2D, which is set to feature greatly improved sensors to increase the range at which it can spot and engage threats. An improved gun, either a longer barrel variant of the tank's existing 120mm, or a larger caliber design altogether, will probably be part of the new variant, as well. The Army has talked in the past about networking the tanks together with other vehicles, including unmanned ground vehicles, as well as unmanned aerial vehicles, in order to use precision-guided rounds against targets beyond its own line of sight.